underway in three, yep. two, one. So this looks familiar, except for on a totally different console. Because last time we played this, it was on a PlayStation 3. <laughs> when you told me we were doing the third Sonic game, I didn't think you meant this. I don't get it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, this is the third Sonic game that we are playing on the channel, at least. And technically, isn't it the third release Sonic game? It is, because technically it does go 1, 2, CD, then 3, but nobody cares about CD. Except for me, well, because... <laughs> in terms of actual release, though, do we want to count Spinball? But that's a spin-off, though. This is still a mainline Sonic game. <laughs> I mean, true. It introduced two very important characters. That, yes. One that everybody... Yeah. One that everybody on uh, DeviantArt wants to be with, and one that everybody on Fur Affinity wants to be with. Yes, I understand. <laughs> that's not what I expected you to do. Wait, did you say that to US? Uh, it changes every part. Okay, right, right. Until we get to part three, but I'm gonna let that surprise hold itself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and eventually, whenever this gets uploaded, people are gonna skip to part three now just to see what that surprise is. Well, good, good thing for them that part if part one gets uploaded on a Monday, part three's not getting uploaded till a Friday, so... But then again, who actually who actually watches this? Who actually watches this live? A couple of people. It's a, they're, they're a good amount of couple of people. Thank you, couple of people who are in that couple of people. I very pre I very much appreciate. It. Including for some reason the Chinese. I don't know. <laughs> it's the um, as my if there was something that my dad could not explain, after I ask him a question, he just responds with, "It's an ancient Chinese secret." <laughs> It's an ancient Chinese. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, damn it is. <laughs> uh, but Toot Toot Sonic Warrior and all that. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. I find I for the in, for the in, for the intro themes, I honestly think that both are pretty decent. Honestly, yeah. But it's pretty much the same for me. Yeah. No children screaming. This is that game. Zero out of ten. But you, do you like that? You like the sound of children screaming? <laughs> I mean, uh, context is. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> huh? Uh, I want to thunk it. So, so for this playthrough, um, generators. Ah yes, and also hi Cortana. <laughs> I hate that so much. So whenever, whenever you're randomly playing on the Xbox, like even if you've after if you've set Cortana up, Cortana will just pop up every once in a while and be like, "Hi." It won't say, "Hi, I'm Cortana," but it will, the notification will still be there. And I'm like, "Please go away." I just have my. I just want to listen to my Xbox through my headphones. Don't. Bombard me with the fact that my headphones happen to have a microphone on them. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty accurate. But yes, this Let's Play is uh, going for all the generators like the last one was, except for this time, I edit out all the times I fail at doing so. Nice meme. And uh, because the reason why I go for all the generators is because I suck at the special stages. I just suck. And anyway, that also has a side effect of stopping the argument of which soundtrack is better, because guess what's the only one you're listening to? The past is same in the both versions. <laughs> no fighting required. <laughs> but past is technically Japanese soundtrack. How is that technical? They're both. It's in both soundtracks. It's hard coded onto oh, the disc as a as a MIDI sound as a as a MIDI sound font or whatever it is. But it's hard coded with the like, bass melody of the Japanese release, plus Japan is better. Oh, Kron. <laughs> Am I wrong? 
You're not right either. <laughs> I have fun you like that. That's one of the last times, one of the first and last times we'll ever see the three zone structure. Uh, yeah, actually, okay. because the only other time was Metropolis outside of Sonic One in this. Metropolis in two. I don't know. Yeah, because. Okay, so the thing is, is that. What the hell? Steam. <laughs> Steam just did the freaking uh, Windows XP window freezes so you drag it around and <laughs> it make, creates shadows <laughs> of itself. It creates copies of itself. But, yes, uh. Also yes. Also, do I do the stage sub 30? Uh, yeah! <laughs> hey. But, uh. What the hell was I? What was I gonna say? Oh, look at that! Brant is now playing Gary's mod. Yeah. Nice girl. <laughs> and then Fish is playing the Elder Scrolls. And Tyler just yelled at me like, "What you doing?" I am currently uh, doing things that we should be doing more often. Yes. Also, um. Here are the introductions of the two characters. Yep, that I don't really care about. Annoying and annoying and um robot. <laughs> <laughs> annoying and a robot. I wonder which one. <laughs> Actually, you could put them either way. If you think hard enough. Mindless drone. A a okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, this this is gonna be a playthrough. Halo conveniently placed thing where you can go to the past. That's yep. Convenient. I have hey. I have the entire path for this game down pat. It's like, I know what I'm doing. Here's where we're going. My headset just went out because I clapped my hands because I was doing nice. this. This is why you should never get things as hand-me-downs from a cousin who doesn't take care of computers. That seems like how? How did you like click through that screen practically? Magic. I've just been playing this game for so long. I'm pretty. Yeah, it, also, also, collision detection from CD wasn't the best, and uh, they have its. Ironically, ironically, this place is collision chaos. Yeah, yeah. So. But they have an excuse for it. <laughs> So, if there's one stage that shows off how bad the collision detection is in this game, it's frickin' Starlight Speedway. I love the stage, but there's this one section, you'll see it once we get to it, but there's just, just one section where you just get stuck if you have no clue what you're doing, and if you don't jump at and a wall is, a certain way. The, like, the thing is, this is the re-release. Yes, yes, this is... Yes, this is the remaster. The only one of his remasters that are on console for some reason. Eh, we just deal with the M2 parts. It's fine. I mean, it's fine. I can play the Sega, Sega, Sega Ages port for, uh, you know... Ooh, that, uh, bitrate. For Sonic 1, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the... YouTube really crunches the, uh... The teleportation yeah. scene, because there's so much stuff going on. And this Sage's generator is easy. You literally just walk right into it. And it's there. Ta-da! Bam. Easy. Win. Yeah. Now, do I try going for the Paradise... Well, wait a second. I would have already gotten the Paradise Found achievement because I got to the last stage in a good future. Ah! Okay, there we go. Do I get the top row? Yeah, I believe I did. Yeah. Now, here's the question. I recorded this, like, a month ago. Do I get the top path? Do I go for the top path that all it does is give you an achievement? Well, you can definitely tell I'm kind of, uh, uh, physics, physicsing at the bottom. Yay. Ooh. Collision chaos indeed, am I right? Yeah, yeah. Also known as, a, also known as obligatory pinball level. Well, I mean, at the time, Whee! it was a draw physics. Yeah. Oh, I do get the top path. And meme. I don't know why I did that. 
I honestly have no clue why I did that. I was so so I recorded the parts and then edited them all in the same day. Oh. So it was like after like after I got done with work at four, I sat down, I recorded Sonic CD. That took about uh I that took about like two yeah about two hours. The play the playthrough is cut down to one hour just because Wacky Workbench is the dumbest thing ever created. Um, wacky Workbench, what's that? Yeah. Uh, hey, look, you got time stone. Yeah, I got there's, one time stone. I think that's the last one you'll see in this let's play, but that's probably a lie. The first and the last. I think I might get this a second one, but I'm not sure. Okay. Hey, look, everything's happy and crap, and this boss sucks. At least on that This, adventure. this boss, well, this boss sucks no matter how you slice it. Ooh, ooh, that bit rate's tr crunchy. Ooh, that's, that, 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 ooh. that bit, this video is pretty cr That's the only problem with, uh, try, trying to record old Sonic games, is that the bit rate loves to crunch. I wonder why. Yeah. But there I go, 33, yeah, 33 seconds. It's, if you get it right the first time, it, all you have to do is get on the first pinball flipper, jump up at the right point, and hope to God uh, he doesn't throw a bomb at you to bounce you back down. Pretty accurate, I suppose. And, um, thumbnail art, that's always cool to see. Ah, yes, we're already on to, uh, part two who likes to autoplay, but yeah, this is, uh, so yeah. Easier. Yeah, there we go. Fighting. <laughs> that was, that was actually pretty quick, but that was only, that was only an 11 minute part. But the reason why these parts aren't like 20 minutes, 20 minutes is because the way that I do it is just two zones, two zones. Yeah. And depends on how fast it takes me. The longest part is part three. I guess what? I wonder what zone's in part three. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in the next part. Yay. And stop recording.